Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After councilwoman goes unpunished for kneeling for pledge twice, that makes her pay. As if it wasn't bad enough that we have to see overpaid spoiled sports stars kneeling for the national anthem, now we have to read about elected city council members doing the same thing. Monday night's Board of Selectmen meeting in this pastoral Connecticut River town featured a discussion on the closing of an elementary school, the awarding of a lawn care bid and a deeply polarizing debate over the meaning of the First Amendment. As IJR reported, this whole mess was instigated at a board meeting earlier this month when Democratic Selectwoman Melissa J. Schlag decided it was okay for a public servant such as herself to kneel during the Pledge of Allegiance in protest of President Donald Trump's meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin his stance on illegal aliens and other policies set forth by the president. But a veteran at the meeting wasn't going to take this standing still. He is 100 percent correct, if you want to disrespect the flag that's okay, it's your right to do so, but do it on your own damn time. Here is more via the Hartford Courant. Monday night's Board of Selectmen meeting in this pastoral Connecticut River town featured a discussion on the closing of an elementary school the awarding of a lawn care bid and a deeply polarizing debate over the meaning of the First Amendment. The conflict was set off at a board meeting earlier this month when Democratic Selectwoman Melissa J. Schlag knelt during the Pledge of Allegiance to protest President Donald Trump's defense of Russian leader Vladimir Putin, his hard line on undocumented immigrants and other policies put forth by the Republican president. Her stance, which echoes the public dissents of NFL players, drew harsh condemnation from critics, including several Republican gubernatorial candidates, and a spirited defense from supporters. Haddam Selectwoman takes a knee during pledge to protest Trump and an outcry ensues. On Monday, the first board meeting after the controversy, both sides came to the Haddam Volunteer Firehouse as the minutiae of small-town government gave way to an impassioned display reflecting the cultural and political fault lines of the Trump era. This is political speech, Paul White, a 49-year-old local attorney, said over jeers from some in the audience. Whether I agree or not it doesn't matter. She has the right, to convey a political message. But Calvin Bunnell, 71, came from Meriden to express his anger at Schlag's silent protest. You don't turn your back on the flag, he said. He wore a t-shirt emblazoned with the message, if you don't like this flag, I'll help you pack your bags. I did not go to Vietnam, to pick and choose who gets to be better Americans. Bob Wallen, had him. Bunnell served in Vietnam and, like many other veterans in the audience, views kneeling during the pledge as a sign of profound disrespect to those who served in the military. I wholeheartedly respect your right to protest, to take a knee, said Pablo Arroyo, a 58-year-old town resident who served in the Marine Corps. But if that's what you would like to do, do it on your own time. I am not here to disrespect you as you've done to my flag, my country. Arroyo recalled 18 Marines in his platoon who were killed in a suicide bombing in Beirut. Looking directly at Schlag, he said, what you did was urinate on all their graves. But not all of the veterans in the audience took the same view. Bob Wallen, a 71-year-old town resident and a combat veteran who served in Vietnam, delivered a poignant defense of Schlag's constitutional right to peacefully protest. I took an oath to defend the Constitution, Wallen said. The Constitution starts with the First Amendment. She has that right. I'm not agreeing with her and I think the reason she does it is stupid. I don't care. Wallen said he was exposed to Agent Orange and is suffering the effects of that exposure. As he offered up his brief comments, he grew too weak to stand and was given a chair and a bottle of water. I did not go to Vietnam, to pick and choose who gets to be better Americans, Wallen declared. Speaking to the politicians who have denounced Schlag, he said screw you. None of you earned that right, you people make me mad. Instead of expressing outrage at Schlag on social media, Wallen implored the crowd to turn its anger toward helping veterans. You wanted to be upset right on Facebook? Well, two veterans a day commit suicide, he said. Before the meeting even started, Schlag's critics, who were led by Republican gubernatorial candidate Tim Herbst and Republican candidate for state treasurer Art Linners, held a rally on the town green. As Lee Greenwood's patriotic anthem, God Bless the USA blasted from speakers to a crowd of around 100. Some in the crowd even sported Make America Great Again hats and Trump t-shirts. This garbage needs to stop. Schlag has every right to kneel for the flag, but not when taxpayers are paying her salary. She is 100% free to despise our flag, nation, and president all she wants. But she can do that on her own time and on her own dime. Schlag has officially said she will continue to kneel during the pledge until President Donald Trump is no longer in office. 
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.